Well, if I can find a few actions from somewhere, <laughs> I'm gonna love it. The backlash makes me horny. We're up for the banter. It's a comedian. Hello, welcome back to that Josh James show with me, stand-up comedian Josh James, as ever. Joined by my right-hand man, Romford's number one podcaster, Chrissy White, a.k.a. White Boy. What's happening, son? How are we doing, JV? Good, and I'm delighted today that we're joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Dave Courtney. How's yes. it going, Dave? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very man-myth legend this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, do you know, I was thinking, how do I introduce you? Cause Dave, I'm just, as Dave. Just Dave. Because the truth is that... One of my pet hates is that celebrity gangster thing. There yeah. is no such thing as a celebrity gangster. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's for real. You're one or the other. You can't be a celebrity and a gangster. No, you can't. The two words don't go together. It's like saying police intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> two celebrity gangsters. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't so, go. No. I mean, how long has it been since you've, uh, would you say, since you stepped out of that sort of underworld? Um, a good 20 odd years, 25, 30 years. Right, but it's, it's an hard thing for me because you, it's, it's easy for me to keep out of trouble, right? Yeah. It's easy for me to keep myself out of trouble. But Dave Courtney ain't Dave Courtney because of me. I, it, I, there's a million other people that make Dave what he, whatever it is right. they think it is, right? And they have helped me all my life for, for 30 odd years. They've They've got holes in their body down to me. They've been in prison and all things like that. So the fact that I've decided now to not do anything wrong, if any one of them ever gets to my house, base camp one, and knocks on the door and goes, Dave, help me. Yeah. You know, just caught me on woman shagging next door. Remember, I've killed him. I've got to get out of the country. You know. Yeah. What do I do? Go, no, sorry, I've, I've stepped out of that life. Yeah, I'm, no, no, that's I'm not I'm me writing anymore. books. I'm going on the podcast. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I've got, in no, I've got to get to that, that Josh yeah, James show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> James, so then all of a sudden you go, yeah, you're back in it. Yeah. Or yeah. someone goes, oh, Dave, I just dropped over the wall from Belmarsh. I yeah. want to run. Throw me in the... Nah, I can't you... do it today, mate. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm doing the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. So, um, as much as you want to pull yourself out of it, you know, yeah. not actually you'd be going out to yeah. risk getting yourself in trouble. You are constantly... Yeah. Tapering on the edge. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Of course yeah. I do. I so haven't gone out and robbed begin? any banks. When I think you're born naughty. I don't think it... There was a start to my criminal career mm. and an end on the day I went, well, I'm retiring and I've got to watch and all that. It's not like that. Is yeah, it? yeah. We're all opportunists, right? And even at 65, if I walk past somewhere and, you know, if the kids have turned his back in the garage when I'm paying for the petrol, I'm nicking the curly word. Right? <laughs> you know, like, if some kid walks out and leaves the door open yeah. in the fucking jewelers and gets in the car and drives off, I'm running in empty in the gap. Yeah, of course. You understand what I mean? So, I do. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm not. I'll make you right. Curly Whirly's a great chocolate. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't let them sit if there. If you can't get a packet of Spangles. Yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you prefer, like, you know, we'll talk about it, but obviously you had years of earning your money through sort of through crime. ways where a lot of people, yeah, crime and. Yeah, through, a lot of people wouldn't like it. They look at your past as what you do is bad and, um, and, they're, and they're right. Yeah, but I'd never earned as much money as I did then. Mm. I'd never earned as much money. It was easy. Okay? Easy, easy money. It was easy to be a criminal. And of course, crit- there weren't no cameras pointing. Right, it was, was a- fucking easy. Listen to me. I, I, I'm not, not condoning bank robberies. I'm not saying. Mm. I'm not. I'm not glamorising crime. I really, really ain't. I'm proof that crime don't pay. Mm. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm true for it because I'm now suffering. Now I'm this old. Because once I've decided to go, I'm not doing that no more. Mm. I'm not being a criminal no more. The fucking police haven't gone. Okay, Dave, stop. Let's leave him alone. Up, up. Yeah. Ring up everybody, and they're not. They've been on it, getting the Dave Courtney scalp for mm. a million years. Mm. So the fact that I've stopped, they're now still Course. pounding, and they're ringing up. I can't have any doorman because they'll ring the clubs and go, "You employ Courtney's doorman. You won't have a license for a telly mm. if you don't put Courtney in that film, which he could end up going to prison halfway through it. Don't have Courtney in that." You know, they bring out that, there's new laws now that you can't glamorise crime. Mm. And if I write a book, they went, don't send me it to critic, Dave, because I'm not allowed by law to say, yeah, he's they quite can't, funny, they he's can't quite put good. Their name on it. They're yeah. not allowed yeah. to actually say they've read it and it's all right. They're not allowed to say that. Mm. Virgin will publish my books, but they're not allowed to make a poster up or an advert saying Dave's got a new book out because the poster is glamorising crime. Right. Mm. 
So they'll publish That's it. That's interesting. But they won't put, a, they won't advertise. Yeah, no, I've got it's, you. So I'm paying for it now, yeah, really. You know really. what I mean? Do you ever feel like when you was do, when you was like living that life of crime, no, and say so you just like you know you just done whatever you just I did, did I did do whatever, like I said, you could walk into a bank where there was four old ladies, partly cards and all that, that weren't even out then. There was four old ladies sitting behind a bit of glass like that mm. with she had hundred and eighty grand in front of her. She it was all cash. It's all money. Have you, and robbed, you, when have you robbed banks before? Of course. Then? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. it weren't hard then. <laughs> it's not like a big, you know, you just walked into it. There's no guards or cameras or chills that went up or helicopters or policemen with machine guns. What did guns. they think was going to happen? Well, the, what, you know this what is mean? what happened. You went, oh, babe, give your money. There's a great big fucking sign on the back wall, bigger than that green thing there. Yeah. Right? Saying, no, have a go, heroes. We are insured. Give in the dough. Really? So you, you oh, went in and went, easy, give me man. the money, and they just gave you 180 grand, she gave you yeah. 90 grand, and the other old lady gave you 120 grand in cash, Yeah. and you put it in the bag, Thank you and very much. went home. And the only possible chance you had of getting caught is if you opened the door and there was a copper standing there, he chased you down the road with a fucking whistle. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Tell me there ain't an easier job to go home with 200 lines. No, right? there's not. He'd run down the road with a little bit of wood and a whistle. <laughs> stop. No, Fucking mate. Hell, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> like Sunday. You know what I mean? I'd do another one on the way home. Yeah. Like a Sunday league ref. Right, and if you didn't do that, if you would rather go to work five and a half days a week for the rest of your life and take home, and at the time it was most probably under a quid, under a pound yeah. a week wages. No, no, I'll, I'll go in the bank. I'll go to the old lady who gives you, gives it to you. So if you get caught doing a bank robbery back at what decade are we talking? Seventies? Yeah, late seventies. Yeah. Right. So you get caught doing a bank robbery, convicted. How long are you doing? Well, I don't know, ten years maybe. There were little little yeah, sentences. See, life then was only fifteen. Yeah. Okay. If you've got life, you're only done. So the incentive to not do it is if we do catch her, you get in a ten stretch. Yeah. Yeah. But just don't get caught. Just don't get caught. Well, when you was living <laughs> this life of crime, though, did you ever think to yourself, because now that you've left that life behind, you're a very entertaining character. Everyone knows Dave Courtney. Do you know what I mean? When you was living this life of crime, did you ever think to yourself, I'm, I'm a bit fucking wasted doing this? Because you are a funny bloke, you know no, what I mean? I didn't think of me being as it was a life of crime. I was just enjoying my little self, right? Mm. Um, oh, I had fun, hundreds and hundreds of doormen. Yeah, they had a little dormant all over um, down the country. And on Friday and Saturday night, they're dormant. But for the rest of the week, they're unemployed, big, flat-nosed, bald-headed, yeah. working for me thugs. So I found them jobs. I done they car repossession, throwing mm. squatters out, giving your next-door neighbour a clump. Yeah. You know, rent a rent clump. clump. Rent yeah, a clump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> so, you know, I, weren't, I was trying to be famous or whatever it is. Mm. I was earning a good... Whack, you know what I mean? 15. But you always had a laugh with it. And, and I, I think I was entertaining then. I don't yeah. think it's changed me because. Nah. Yeah, of course. I sold a few pills or. Yeah, no, well, that's where it comes from. I don't know. Yeah, but I think I was entertaining then. And I'm a much better entertainer than, than what people would consider naughty man. You know what I mean? I don't. Sorry about that. I don't consider myself a gangster. No. Mm. Not in the fucking slightest. I think the word is, is a historical, romantic word like pirates, cowboys, knights in shaman armor. Yeah. Um, they're all romantic naughty boys of the past and gangsters. There ain't no more. Yeah, there ain't no more. No. This ain't the mafia. No, I, I, it's, it's not the mafia. You know, you get these clever little bastards on a computer sitting up in a city nicking three million a day. Yeah, no, yeah. that's yeah. it. They're so, the proper villains. Yeah, they are the proper yeah, villains. That's right, they're the clever villains. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mate. yeah. yeah. I'm loving your haircut, man. Cheers, mate. Yeah, same. I don't know why you work the gigs with a fringe. I oh, yeah. And they put in jail. And, no, it's wax. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something about it. I'll, I'll tell you something about the bald headed thing. Well, I like it that much. You know, people with Volkswagen Beetles, they yeah. don't even know the keys when you have a car and they go, Beep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all that, boy. We should do that, yeah, bald headed yeah. people. No, mate, you're right. Should do that. Like, yes, not you. Fucking gel weary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snowflakes. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, oh, listen, I've got like a response time. Uh, for my house, I, I, most probably in four minutes, I could get two or three, right? Roughly, and I know the response time. Since, they've all changed their hour. If I go, help me, they would run, put a pair of 
shoes on, no socks, throw a pair of tracksuit bottoms on a t-shirt and run. But now they stop before they run out and help me and go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's out of order. Uh, you, should make, you should make it a requirement. So you want to work for you. Like, yeah. Yeah. You want to work for you, you've got to have a bald head. I reckon he could have a job with you, Dave. What do you reckon? Without he looks like he already does work for me. He does, yeah. doesn't he? He's got the height, he he's got the bald head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a bit of moonlighting or something. I'll yeah, sort you of look my bird. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a Good salt, yeah. Like, yeah. She's lovely, <laughs> Kevin, yeah. <laughs> so go on, right. I feel I'll like I feel you. like I feel I feel a little bit left out here because nah, there's, mean, there's, no, but there's clearly a there's clear connection between two bald guys here. Do you know what I oh, mean? Oh there is. No, I mean you're right, I'm gonna make that a thing. And shakes, little wave. Like from now, it's like now, Houdin, you said that, now you said yeah. that I'm not even going to look at him that's <laughs> the truth joke. I'm not even going to look at him honestly he was making me feel a bit sick anyway so you're uh, <laughs> you obviously you're born in Bermondsey and I, then but you, I wasn't born in Bermondsey so let me tell you something here because I was watching a documentary the other day Bermondsey boy right right no? Now, the, the, yeah no, uh, that was the first thing that ever propelled Dave Courtney into some kind of stardom what actually happened yeah is I was nicked for something and there were seven witnesses and I was definitely going to prison Right, I was captured. The only reason I was out on bail is because I was I was hospitalised when I when I was arrested, and I was in the hospital wing, and I, and they was going they can't have bail because I'm going to intimidate the witnesses. But my barrister went, well, he's in an hospital bed. What are you talking about? So they give me bail, and um, the television company got all the permission from the Home Office to do a documentary on a man preparing to go to prison. They're going to film me doing all the naughty things, get collection, car repossession, rent a club. They're going to film me doing that, film me going to court, film me while I'm in prison. See, then film me if a wife stayed on this, if on them, and then when, oh, I, when, I, when, I, when I come out, when I come out and see if it prison had worked and all, that was the whole plan. But something happened and all seven witnesses <clears throat> didn't turn up. So they filmed me kicking doors down, car repossession, rent a clump and all that. I lived in Peckham and all of a sudden I got not guilty. So the rest of the whole documentary- Fucked was, up. Uh, right, so they had to make a documentary on the little bit they yeah, had at the beginning, okay. which was just me running around going out, kicking doors down, <laughs> trying to make myself look as bad as I was. So I looked- Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, they you didn't get the back end but of but it. But they never got it. So they had to make a documentary out of that, which made me look like a proper nut. So I just woke up every morning and went, ugh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. and and because Bermondsey boy had a nicer ring to it than Peckham boy, yeah. they called it the Bermondsey boy, which caused me nothing but fucking egg. Really? And, yeah, because it come on tell you that it uh, made me look a little bit of a straight twat. away. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. From and Bermondsey. everyone from Bermondsey went, "You ain't from Bermondsey? What's yeah. he saying he's from Bermondsey for?" And like, right, right. Well, funny and enough, and, and, and I'm, I'm actually morning. going, oh, no, I'm, not, "I'm not saying I am." They. Uh. Do all that. Well, this is it. Loads we, of we got in the motor this morning because obviously we're in Peckham now. I'm like, oh, he's from Peckham. He went, no, he ain't. He's from Bermondsey. And I'm well, like, well, that's exactly sure it. He's from Peckham. Yeah, but where, so was you born in Peckham? Yeah, yeah. And brought grew, grew up around yeah, here. Yeah, up in, in King's College Hospital. And you, oh, really? um, yeah. you ain't far from here now. Do you still live south of London? Yeah, that, of course I do. Stop yeah. it. You, would you never move out? No, I, I, I wouldn't live in any other bit. I'm not. I'm not Never, but I like it here. No, in, in all honesty, I'm, I, it's not the greatest area in the world for the rest of the world. If you want, if you want to look at it like that, the, it would be classed as um, maybe a little bit dangerous and things like that yeah. in some parts of South London. But for me, I've lived here all my fucking life, and if I went to, I can afford to go and get a nice house somewhere out of it. Mm. What am I going to get out of that? Can I go to any one of my neighbours? Um, can I hide in your bu can I can I hide in your spare room? Can I have a bath in your house? My fucking boiler's yeah. broke. Can I make park in your drive? Will you hide this in your dustbin cupboard? I can go to my shop and get, get a load of food and not pay for it till tomorrow. I can go to the pub. I'm local. Every villain up there bibs and goes, "Yo, Dave." So you. why should I move to a place where I don't know any fucker? Yeah, no, I agree. What the fuck would I do that for? I spent my whole life, yeah, yeah, yeah. blend, it, like, getting amazing. a little thing around me, a little umbrella of Dave, mm. my strong old yeah. area. You know what I mean? I've got all that back up, and then I'll go because it's a nicer house in a nicer area. I will go and move to somewhere where I don't know fucking anyone. Yeah, well look, you don't get that sense of community and neighbours. Right, well that's why I live where I live and I don't, don't intend it. moving out of it. I've got no, um, 
unless I unless I fucked off to America, but um, that was my plan Where all about? the way through my life. But once they heard about that, they stopped the visa thing. Oh, okay. It's hard if you've got uh, if you've got a criminal record. It's hard to get in America, yeah, isn't it? It's mm. very hard, yeah. But that was my dream out in America. Um, if I could bottle a fart, they'd buy it out there. You know, yeah. Dave Courtney's. Oh, really? They love it. There. Yeah, yeah. Whether I deserve it or not, whether I, you know, at the moment I'm the for the rest of the world, whether I deserve it or not, I am the, what they would consider the typical English naughty bloke. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. The face yeah. fits. Yeah, they love the it. The talk fits. The laugh yeah. each. You know, yeah. the typical. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm like for the last thirty odd years, I truly believe this. The advice and guidance and knowledge that I'm dropping on people now, because I'm aware that our people are listening to Dave Cogney, right? Mm. I think it's good. And all of my past experiences, however naughty people might think I am or it is or what I've done or what I didn't do, I had to do all that to get this. And now I've got all this, it's my job mm. to drop it on someone or educate someone with that. You know, I understand I can help you if you've, you're in, your husband's in prison, he's done what to do, or being on remand, or being on bail, or waiting to go to court, or... Mm. I've, got, I've got knowledge of all sorts of... of that world, you mm. understand what I mean? And you have to have dabbled in it, and I don't give a fuck whether they like what I did, or they think I'm an horrible person, or whatever, but to, to, to get what I've got in here, I had to do all that. Mm. Yeah? So right experience. now, right now, I'm doing... <clears throat> right now, I'm doing the right thing. I'm... I'm I'm doing talks around um, naughty boy schools, and I'm doing. Are you trying to encourage them to not go down a path? Well, of course that. I am. Mm. You know, like, you know, it, it it doesn't need the brains of Britain to tell you today is not the time to be a fucking criminal. Nah, no. Nah. Right, Jesus. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> right, it's not the time to be any kind of criminal. The old Bill, you're not beating a. A Sherlock Holmes detective yeah, anymore, course. a little mind battle. You're beating, trying to beat technology, all this mm. stuff. CCTV. Right? And all you that. can't. No. Nah. You can't. can't. Listen, I've got a mate of mine that's in prison. He went, Dave, he said, I was driving, he said, I'm making sure I weren't being followed. He said, I'm doing 12 because they took a picture of me from the fucking moon. Mm. Like a, a satellite yeah, thing yeah, on yeah, it. He yeah, said, I, said I was driving like that. No, no one knows I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the moon. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he described it to me. That's why he said it like that. It was yeah. funny when he said it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuckers. So, do yeah. you, obviously, in South London, do you still live in that gaff, Camelot Castle? Castle. Camel yes, yeah, so I do. Yeah. In that gaff. And I'm having a mental party at Halloween, if you two want to come. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I'm giving you an invitation to a Dave Courtney. Oh, fuck And I lovely. truly believe it's the best party I have all year. Is Halloween. it? Really? Yeah, very, do, very does it people party. everyone get dressed up? Most, a lot of a lot of them do, yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, I could get fucking dressed and if, up. And if we? you would like to, you can come. Get, and, I'm gonna come um, as Dave Courtney. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> you go as Dave Courtney. What can I go as? I've got the I've got the bins. You could over. be Brendan because uh, Dave Courtney don't go anywhere with him. No, nah, yeah, yeah but I'm lucky. Listen, I live with my best mate. Do ya? I live uh, with my best mate. It? In, in 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 a big old yard. With, yeah. it's, it's a bloke's house, right? It ain't got. For, for a woman, it'd be fucking nightmare, I suppose. Yeah. Right? But he's got all guns on the wall and pool yeah, tables. Yeah, yeah. Nightclub at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> I've got a three-story, <laughs> fifty shades of grey, fully working dungeon at the bottom of my house. Oh, is that the fantastic. sex dungeon the I was six. reading about? Yeah, yeah. We go in there and have a wank as well. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, you, <laughs> no, so hang on. Can you just confirm or deny a rumour? Go. You was in a porn film. I have. That's, that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. How many in a couple? In a couple. Yeah. What I, were they called? Uh, one was called Dave the Dirty Old Pervy Bastard, one was called <laughs> Dave the Old Pervy Bastard, and I think the last one was called Dave the Fucking Dave Filthy Cunt. I thought, I thought one of them was named after Lockstock. Yeah, Lock, Cock and Two Smoking Bimbos. <laughs> Alright? So you've done your own work, okay? Lovely. Look, Cock, yeah, well, I've, I've watched it. I was watching it last night, funny two enough. Two Smoking Bimbos, that's fucking oh, brilliant. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you a story. The, the, one of the, the most probably the worst day in my life, right? Yeah. I oh, know, I've got to start from the beginning i got a job one day security for eight weeks to go to america in this fucking winnebago with 10 english porn stars they were making all the films out there in sin city and they went we everyone in the blue porn film at the moment looks like fucking pamela anderson we want a few bring over 10 yeah, white yeah. skinny white white not thing yeah yeah 
pear-shaped English birds mm. to come over there and make the films instead of all these ones. So I'm looking after them, and I. So I'm, they're in there making a roof, making a pump, and I went to this geezer. Oh, what a fucking blinding job! <laughs> There's another bloke just turns up and goes, and they film the end of his knob. He won't even in on the shag. He just does the wank shot. I was like. Really? Oh, really? And he got a two and a half for that. And I said, oh, he said, sometimes they ask me three times a week, three times a day. Just comes just runs go, in, does his loads. Yeah, yeah. But, but I went, I want to do that. He went, you can do that if you want. Go over there, get an age test. Hour later, take a picture with your passport and that. He said, I'd love to give you a blue. If you want to be in a blue film? Go, and I'm looking through this catalogue, like a catalogue that you get your Christmas presents from <laughs> yeah. when you're a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm going, I'll have her, I'll have her and her. Oh, I've heard no, and she can do it. Do anything you want, Dave. So it's fucking three. How years old are you at this point? Uh, about three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm 45 or something, 50 or 45. Oh, really? Something like that, yeah. 40. Oh, fucking brilliant. About 40 or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about 40. Love it. So I'm done the blue film and all that, and he, and he went, and I was going, I couldn't do it. Well, and then I went, I can't do it because it, someone has said, oh, no, and I'll get him that. Joke. And he went, no, I guarantee you. It would just be in that one hotel there, right? And it can't be, there's no plug to take mm. it off. It's on the hotel pool thing. And I went, all right, I'll do it. So years went past, years and years go past, right? So I'll go out to Joe Paul's wedding in fucking Vegas. And I'm sitting there and it's, and it's in a cathedral inside the Treasure Island Hotel. It's mm. a cathedral, all gold, it's beautiful, right? beautiful. And it was only cheap. Well, it was cheap compared to what it should be. And I went, God, if I'd known it was only that much, I'd have married you. So, anyway, it ended up... Because you had your missus yeah, out there. Yeah, missus with me. And yeah. it ended up, we've run around. The story around it is my pal over there won a few quid at the casino. But, so I'll go, I'll get married to her the next day. I've got the licence in the hotel and I'm married her the next day. And on our wedding night, they've changed their room to the honeymoon suite. The fucking bed is about from here to that. It's too big for me. She's in the middle of it making it all the shaky thing so she yeah. turned on the hotel porn but it was the great westerner group it weren't one hotel it was every oh, great okay. it was every one <laughs> yeah. of the great westerners so she's standing there on my wedding night yeah she turned it she went oh let's have a look at the porn i went yeah I'll turn on fuck me it's you there's me <laughs> on my wedding night with my missus at captured and I tried to get hold of the telly control oh. but the bed's too big and it's all water in it and I'm rolling about like a big fat knob trying to grab the telly control and so oh, I get captured brilliant. by my missus oh, on my wedding night porking some fucking oh, they are. did fucking your missus did your missus forgive you what do you think no what do you think yeah I'll say no oh, it's a bit rocky yeah <laughs> how long that marriage last no, no, it's, it's, it's lasted a long time. It's my wife's wife. It's oh, really? But, it, you know, it's trying for her. Yeah, I, yeah. I would not, I would not yeah. write me down as a, as a good boyfriend or a perfect husband. No. Nah. Yeah, that's the most really shit deal. So were you together when you made this porn film? Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And I went out on my own for eight weeks and she trusted me and all that shit. Oh, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's yeah, come yeah. back no, to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you. Are you single now? I'm single now, yeah. Yeah, single, and uh, you, yeah. Stay, you don't, you don't, you don't get involved in any of these films no more. <laughs> no, <laughs> or do you? No. I tell you I what, don't know, I, if you want to go and check my phone. What? Yeah, I was, yeah, but I was reading up on your on where you live, Camelot Castle. It sounds like an interesting place. You've got the the dungeon, as they called it in the paper, the yeah. sex dungeon. Yeah, well, it is a sex dungeon. I, I it pays my fucking mortgage. You know, I will rent it out seven days, seven nights a week. They got the yeah, yeah. Yeah, BDSM. They do, yeah, they do oh, the, really? the filming down there. I've got all the adult industry parties, the swinger parties, the fetish parties. The you know, we actually done a a disabled swingers party the other day. How's that? Oh wow! I never even knew it existed, but it's a real thing. Really? And we put it on, they come up with their carers. Oh, really? Well, of course. Uh, and we had to put all the ramps in and like, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, Everyone's got to get some. Dave Courtney giving back to the community. I'm yeah, telling you, I actually felt like, oh, I actually felt like that. I <laughs> yeah. did actually go down there. You're a good geezer. I bet they had a great night. Oh, it's yeah, but that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Actually. And then you've got, uh, and then I was, I was, because I was watching the sort of tour of your house, you've got a pool table. Are you Charlton Athletic fan? No, the man, uh, Brendan, the fellow I live with, he's a, 
he's a, an avid Cholton fan. Oh, is it? Are yeah. you into football? Six, six, um, not, not really, but I have to be a bit for him. Because mm. right, he lives and dreams the fucking thing. So if you had a team, it would be Cholton? No, if, I, if I, I've, I've got, I'll go and see Cholton more than anyone else, I suppose, in my heart. I like to think I'm an Arsenal supporter, but he's twisted me a bit. No, yeah. I, I, I'll go and see Cholton and I, yeah. and, because he's... Cholton, if you cut his arm off, you'd read it like rock. Cholton, 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 Cholton. Cholton. Yeah. Yeah. And that pool table, let me tell you the truth. The truth is this. The geezer was, it was going to cost about four and a half to put it on. I was going to have one. Arsenal. But purely for the fact I was just, you know, I really don't, ain't football mad. But he, he supports Cholton and he went, and if you live with someone that's a real avid fan, when they're having a bad time when they're football, thing, you're having a bad time, like a wife, you get what Course. I mean? And, and he was going to me, like, like a dreamer, he's going, if, and I was having a bad time, if Cholton win the next five games, Dave, and get to Wembley, and win Wembley, then we're okay. <laughs> right? And I was like, oh, look, love him. I said, I'll tell you what, if Cholton win the next five games, get to Wembley, win Wembley, get, get promoted up to the next uh, level of football, League, then I'll, yeah. get, I'll do that chop for you. And the, char- the chances of Cholton winning five games on a trot are nil. Fuck me. Didn't it. they do all of that? Win five games, go to Wembley. I'm sitting at Wembley with him and they've scored in the 90th minute. And he just jumped up. He was in some posh seats. And he jumped up. He's going, the ball table. The <laughs> ball table. You know, yeah. So what is it, like a Charlton And now it's a big Charlton yeah. club. Oh, man, really? Over my table. <laughs> my favourite bit about your house, though, have you still got the mural? Yeah. So you've got the mural and, because uh, I don't think White Boy has seen it, but you're sitting in the middle and then who have you got either side of you? Um, it's like the uh, Knights of the Round Table and either side of me I've got dressed in Knights of the Round Table stuff. I've got a load of famous ex-criminals. I've got the Craze, Howard Marks, Roy Shaw, Lenny McLean, Ronnie Biggs, John Gotti, Joe Powell, Freddie Foreman. Uh, was oh. it like the Last Supper? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Like Supper. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. like that. And I thought all the different edges. <laughs> yeah, nice. Of course, I stuck me in the middle as King Arthur. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah. Well, look, we'll see you at Halloween, mate. Well, uh, you should come if you get an invitation to one no, of my parties I'm and coming. don't come. You're mad. Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm fucking you're well mad. up for it. I'm well up for it, Dave. Now you've spoke about the sex dungeon and the fetish parties and that. I don't know if my missus is going to be too happy, <laughs> yeah. but I'm still going. Yeah. Yeah, I well, think. Bring your missus. It's a, it's a party, Halloween. For you and your missus, it's a party for that. I nice. think I think he wouldn't. Yeah, he really. wouldn't. Uh, you'd have a nightmare. If you anyway, your missus, missus loves it down there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, mate? She sorry, probably sorry. would. She, she does. Probably she would. does. <laughs> Good little kisser, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <Funny> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Man. Yeah, he's, he's not met you before, but he's like, fuck it, I've seen. Oh, yeah, I've seen you on yeah, her phone yeah, before. That's it. I'm gonna pick her up. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Yeah, so yeah, I'll kiss my phone, ring her, give her a shout. Because <laughs> yeah, you ain't because when like that house that you got is so like, I mean, Iconic, recognizable. Yeah. You could, but you couldn't. You couldn't do it. You probably couldn't have had that house when you was active in that world, could you? Because you probably had to be a little bit more low key. Or did you have that house when you were still a bit I'm doing a bit? A while, I'm gonna sound like a dickhead now. I did have it when I was. Did you? Active, yeah, done. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever? But now, 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 not, 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 not like it is now, but, you know, it, it, was, it was loud. But now I've actually painted the mural on the side of the wall and I've got flags hanging up outside. Mm. You know, I've just looked big, at a photo of it. Big pictures of me going, hello. Yeah. You know, you know, I'm, not do, I'm not actually doing anything wrong. I ain't a group. You can go and yeah. my yeah, doors yeah, are yeah, open. You can search. You know, I'm not doing. Fa- now I'm going, hello, look at me. I obviously ain't doing nothing wrong. You get what I mean? Yeah. But they were still won't have it. They still, you know, they want the scalp, don't they? Of course. Yeah. And how do you get along with the neighbours, obviously, having all that? Well, up? now, brilliant. The, tr- the truth is, Dave Courtney ain't what all of them... You know, I'll read things about me and go, fucking hell, did I? Fuck, really? You yeah, know, yeah not, that's not true. Yeah. You know, after, after 30 years, all, all of my neighbours, my club is used by... Everyone in my road, every all day long, all night long, if it ain't being used, they can have it for any kids' party, any, if they want to drink, soft drink, they can have it all for fuck all. They can all, they all work behind the bar, in the toilets, mini cabin, 
uh, maintenance, barbecue, they, all my neighbours work in there. That's yeah, nice. That's so it's, and they can have whatever they want in that nightclub all day long, every day. The, night, the nightclub's different to the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah two separate yeah. buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the kids' parties out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. And they're all going, oh, a swing. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Having a I want to get on the swing, time. mummy. <laughs> no. There's a dildo on such a swing. <laughs> yep, get off it. <laughs> So you mentioned, you mentioned the craze there. So I think when like a lot of a lot of you come up in a lot of people's consciousness was when you was you organised. I think the security for one of the craze is that right? For Ronnie Craze, the biggest Ronnie funeral Cray. in this country. Yeah. So what was your? How did that come about? And what's your um, like? What was your? How did it come about? Is as I was I by by then I was um I was a friend of Ronnie and Reggie and Charlie. Um, I weren't, I'm only, I'm only 65 and, and, and I weren't running around with the Craig's when they were active. I'm not a Craig gang member, I've never been. I met him when he was already doing Bird mm. and I had a lot of people working for me doing a security company and it was Birmingham boy and all that had just come out. So he wanted to know who was doing what's what. And so we met up and I, I was a little bit in awe, like, yeah, mm. yeah. And I was young, I was a young man. I was a little bit in awe and anything he wanted to do, I'd fucking do, he'd do. If I could help him, I'd help him, right? Mm. You know, it wasn't no skin off my nose, but the connection to the Cray Twins definitely helped me in that field of work I was in, knowing them definitely mm. helped me, you know. I'm the like, affiliation. I'm, of course it yeah. does. It, yeah, up to a certain level, like knowing Dave Courtney can be handy for you up to a certain level, and then after that, knowing Dave Courtney might actually hurt you in business. Mm. Yeah, so they yeah. feed off you to a certain level, and then... If they're going higher than that, they have to go, I've got to do that with you. Mm. Which, because you're in the spotlight. Well, yeah, they can't be seen. You know, like I'll go and pick my mate up. He's a security guard in fucking Asda's. I picked him up for dinner. And when I dropped him back after dinner in his dinner hour, they'd emptied his locker and said, fuck off. You can't be security here if you're hanging around with Dave Courtney. Oh, OK. Really? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Conflicts of interest for Asda. A absolutely. Yeah. So. It, it, just like that, in every department. You know, my, my, my sister, my sister would, would be chastised in the position of work she could work as. Mm. My daughter's in the army, and to explain who's your parents, mm. are there any of them Irish? And, uh, oh, it's Dave Courtney. Mm. Yeah. So they'd only give her a certain clearance level for certain things. And, yeah. You know, do you tell Dave Courtney's daughter where all the machine guns are stored? <laughs> you know, and all things like that would it's enter a couple their of missing, actually. You know, they're yeah. right out there. They're, they're, the yeah. scariest thing about a, a um, policeman and all that is their imagination, but they're right out there. Mm. But it affects me and mine now still severely. Mm. You know, the people go, I'm going to a party tonight. Where? Dave Courtney's, oh, you can't go. Mm. You yeah, understand what I mean? Because I don't know what they think I'd be eating babies or I don't know. But so you pay dearly for it, mm. that little bit of fame. Yeah. Mm. So you've done, yeah. you done the security for... Yeah, for the, cra the Cray Twins, was, sorry, what, I veered so off then. The Cray Twins funeral thing. What happened was somebody rung up the funeral parlour and went, not everyone's a Cray Twin fan. Um, we're going to burn the place down with Ronnie Cray's body in it. So either they then rung the Reggie Cray and told him what had been said. Reggie Cray then rung me and then said... He got the prison to ring me with him on the phone and said... Well, I want you up there, security. So I had to go up there 24 hours a day for two weeks and sleep in the room with Ronnie Cray. What, you stepped in the room? Oh, look, I mean, he was. I could, I could go in there, he was there. He was, I, I slept in a funeral parlour with two fellas every night, all day, so that no one come and... Protecting and, the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, getting 150 geezers together to do the security for them. By the, by the time the two weeks was up, you could see the funeral was going to be massive it needed security he asked me to do it I went yes I sort of put together a little army and I put together 150 of what I thought were the tastiest most the tastiest ones I knew there was Mr Newcastle Mr Liverpool Mr Edinburgh Mr Glasgow Mr mm. Brighton Mr Manchester all in one little all in the black all in the work in the funeral I've got to be honest however childish this may sound but when I come out of my front door and I had 150 geezers all standing out the front, all dressed in black, and the quality of man that was there, mm. fuck, I got an hard on. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not need to bang one off on me fucking yeah. doorstep. I wanted to go and invade fucking Iraq or something, <laughs> you know, look. Right? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so and a lot, a lot of them didn't actually get on with each other. All these people, all these, all these three quarters of a million people that turned mm. up for this funeral, don't actually get on with each other. You know, but they're all there for the burial of the criminal monarch and mm. England's big thing. But the lot, they they actually shooting each other. But on that one day, it was all alright. There was peace, and I had everyone working with, with me, and and and, and, it, and it went off um, untroubled. But for the police who was filming it, every single one that worked for me had their own criminal CV. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So it's like, for them, as it came out in court, it was their very first viewing of visual organised crime. Mm. That's one criminal organising all them other criminals from all over the country to come to London on his say-so to the, celebrate the death of another criminal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they looked at it all different than, than me and you. Yeah, that's what, what I'm filming I mean? it. And checking he's it out. He's our film. And then they ended up, uh, is he in Chinkford Cemetery? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's just, he's not too far, Mark. Yeah, uh, he won't be going anywhere else. He's dead. No, of course not. not, no. <laughs> He'll stay there now. <laughs> He'll stay there now. What was it like meeting <laughs> Ronnie Craig? Would you, yeah, I mean, Ronnie, uh, Craig, Ronnie Craig was a strange one. I, you know, nice bloke, but strange. Something they never ever say about him, which, which I thought was the freakiest thing, right? He never blinked. He really? never blinked. Blink, because when he went to prison, Fluorescent lighting had just come out. Yeah. It was new, it, uh, it, it fucked you up. And when he went to prison, he was on, his light was kept on all day and all night. Mm. So it, it fucked him up. He just don't blink, he was used to. And when he talks to you, he goes. He's just like that. Oh, really? Oh, fuck me up, fuck man. That. Go, okay, <laughs> would you go to the canteen and buy me a biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, he's looking at me like that. <laughs> Scary. How, that would, how would he talk? Would he talk like hey, so, talk like this? Softly yeah, like, like that. that. Would you go up to the canteen? I've got a list. If you'd go to the canteen, please. Yeah. And just um, give me some fingers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Eerie. Unblinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one, that one done. He's nice, he's polite, he was sharp as a razor, what he looked like. Mm. He looked like he just walked out of fucking seven. Oh, they, all, and, they, from all the pictures I've seen, yeah, they, yeah, always, yeah, they always look a million dollars. Mm. Yeah, and then Reggie was he was he much different from Ronnie? Uh, yeah, he, he was. Um, he was always trying to have an angle and trying to get uh, you know uh, earning money and silly scatterbrain nutty ideas. You know, you're in prison for, for you know, bit like Gadge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's yeah. still he's still trying to. Uh, obviously, he's in. He's still trying to earn money in inside. Yeah, he's still trying to earn money. So there was no crate to win millions. I'm afraid. That okay. was just a myth. There was no. They had, no, they had absolutely fuck all, nothing. Mm. Really? They, d d nothing. There was nothing, that, no, maybe 70 grand between. Fuck real, hell. Nothing. No houses, no hidden millions, no. Yeah. That was all the Richardsons done that. The craze was going for the fame and the newspaper stories and, you know, mm. the Richardsons were earning the money with the scrap yards and the diamond mines and the, you know, they would yeah, just yeah. let them do their thing, let them get in the paper. Do you think yeah, they, they wanted that fame then, they're crazy? Fuck slightly. They were, b they were born to... That was their destiny and they wanted it. They wanted the yeah, fame. Yeah, yeah, they weren't they wanted to be a criminal. They just wanted to be famous. Yeah, but like uh, you said right at the beginning, there's no such fucking thing as a criminal gangster. It don't yeah, work, does it? They don't know, but like, at the time, he's still doing the naughty bits or organising the naughty bits and getting all these pictures in the paper. Yeah, like no, nah, it's just about that. It don't work. It doesn't work. Just putting a sign on you, ain't you? Saying arrest yeah, me, and, uh, there, and, there, and there is the proof of it. When you say when I was inside and that, and you said like being associated with them still held held a bit of weight. Yeah. Um, if 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 they didn't have, as in there wasn't like millions there. Because no one knew it. No one knew there weren't millions. It there. was just the name. No one ever met them. There was before this whole generation was born. There was already locked up. There's a beautiful myth, yeah. and nothing or no one. Not Dave Courtney, Ronnie Biggs, Al Capone is as big as a myth. Mm. No one. They definitely wasn't. Right? Yeah. They definitely wasn't. You know, they weren't running London. They run one little road. Yeah. One road in Mile End Road and a two pub. That's it. And the rest is myth. Mm. Okay? You know, but it was easy it's been to run time though, that one it? road. Yeah, and it's grown all the time. All I've looked at it. I'm looking at it from me, from my point of view, about me and what. what Exactly, and I'm not actually clambering for that no more. It ain't actually right, but it's growing, mm. right? The, 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 the public hunger for that 
what you're doing now, interviewing me, asking me to come up and talk about what? Me. Mm. Yeah. Like, wow, it's mental. Yeah, it's what, mental. Why, do, why do you think people are so fascinated by it? I don't know, because it's, um, I think they're really interested in the villainy and crime, please believe me, a long time ago, had an air of class about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had a, a romantic air of mm. the British criminal was looked at as the bulldoggy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Train and and, and you could that. almost stand up in class and go, my dad's a bank robber and be proud of it. Yeah. Nowadays, if you stood up in class and go, my dad's a drug dealer, mm. you ain't got the same fucking ring. Nah. nah. Right? Although your dad's earning millions of pounds a month and your dad's earning that, you know, ain't got the same ring. The criminals were 30, 40, 50 years ago, a room full of criminals, you'd have had a kidnapper, an hijacker, a safe cracker, a burglar. Yeah. Now it's just narcotics. Safe cracker, I like the sound of that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's almost that. like when people people almost look back now, like look at... And that's what they want to talk to me about. They want that romantic... Yeah. You know, but almost it? people talk about it, Dave, like, oh, you know, if the craze is still about this, this and that wouldn't have happened. But it's That's sort true. of, I think to myself, how well, do you know? The craze run their little bit yeah. because everyone that spoke to understood English and spoke English. Now the Cray twins in, in Bethnal Green, there's no one there that could say the name Bratwick. <laughs> Right, it couldn't, it was, you know, so it's a different world. You know, you had your front door hanging on a bit of string, you put your hand through the letterbox. And yeah. you, that's, that's really true, but it's nothing to do with the craze, it's the 50s. What the fuck did you have in your house worth nicking yeah. in the 1950s? Nothing. No plasma screens. Yeah, you could have, you could have, yeah. you'd break in his house and leave him a fiver. There's fuck all in there. Yeah, yeah, you could leave you your door open. I mean? And then the Cray twins would yeah, have yeah. no bearing on what's happening today or would it be the same today whatsoever right the reason being is the importance of a pecking order in, mm. in the criminal world as as important as it is in the army you've got to have a private a, a, a sergeant a corporal a major mm. a you've got to have a pecking order and in crime someone to put a bit of right well nowadays that ain't, it, there isn't Everyone wants to be in charge. Mm. There ain't no, you know, when there was someone that you had to, even me, right? Yeah. You know, it was good. You needed a little bit of discipline, yeah. even in that world. But now, no one would listen to no one. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not talking about just English people being criminals. Half of the criminal fraternity in there in England is of a different nationality. What about Albanians? Of course, don't yeah. fuck. Yeah, you know, in, in that little battle of, who is, um, in, there's no one in charge of the British fucking uh, underworld now. There's too many loan sharks all, all, all doing it for themselves. But the Albanians ain't going to listen to the English people and the Russians ain't going to listen to the mm. Turks and the Turks ain't having it with the Polish and the Polish won't bother listening. You know what I mean? It ain't going to happen. And this is just a melting pot for all of that at the moment. Mm. You know, the English criminal is going to come very second place in every department. The so. Albanians definitely had the well, best gear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By far. Yo, bruv, come here. That's, that's, quite, that's quite manly to say that on television. <laughs> he's, a, he's a recovering addict. Yeah, mate, nearly so three years. He knows really? himself. Nearly three years clean, yeah. I, I was a pisshead. Was I've that? been clean for a year odd, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Good on you, Dave. Oh, do you know, enough, I've just got three, my license three years back. In a couple of weeks. Listen to this one. I've got a story for you. Do you know anyone? I've just got off my driving license back yeah. last week. From a 16 year ban. Really? You had 16 year what ban? What fucking one. What did you do? 16 oh, years. What did you do? Really? Right. Well, well I, I, got, I got Nick drink driving. And then after that, every single time I went up to get my license, I go for the medical and I take a hair follicle. Mm. And in it, if you've had one drink or one puff or one yeah. anything in the last six months, you've got another three year ban. So I've got a three year ban. Right. And then I went back there and I got another three year ban. I went back. They yeah. took a thing and they went, four months ago you had a lager. Yeah. I've got another for you. So then I shaved all my body and that goes back there. And he went, oh, you shaved Mr. Courtney. I went, yeah, shaved my chest under my eyes, my legs and all that, my bollocks. And, <coughs> and then the goes in there and he went, um, he said, shaved. I went, yeah. He said, all right, turn around, drop your pants, bend over. Took one out of my arsehole. <laughs> He fucking picked the fucking hair out of my bum and went, uh, that's another three years ago, off, right? So I'm uh, like, fuck, it's adding up. So I live with my best friend. And it never really mattered to me yeah, yeah, that yeah. I didn't, didn't have a license because I was living with a big, big power to yeah, come and drive. Yeah, 
So um, I turned into a piecehead. I'm, I'm, I didn't have to worry about me. Mm. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a year clean man. Nice, myself. well done. Good on you, Dave. And is that, uh, do you go to meetings or anything for that? No. You just do it yourself? No, I did it myself. I stopped it on a day. Mm. I stopped puffing. I stopped puffing, taking any, anything and stopped drinking in one day. Did you? Yeah, I just went, right, I won't do it anymore. And, I, and I, to be honest, oh, that sounds a massive mammoth, undoable thing, any one of them's hard. It weren't really that hard because I had such a thing at the end of it, or I ain't gonna have a driving license ever again. I'm never gonna. Mm. And now I've got me fucking license. Now I've got it. The week I get it, you can only do 20 mile an hour. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, joke. what the fuck is that about? Someone's it's tricking me, right? It's tricking me, 21 an hour. Is that ridiculous? Mm. Isn't it? That's, that's almost like a crime. Well, that, that's, that's the saying you can only go up It's been rolled out now, hasn't it? Yeah. 20 mile an hour speed. 20 mile an hour. Oh, really? Mm. And they keep inventing these cars that one of them now does 230 mile an hour mm. or not of fucking 100 in one point. For, where, where can you do that? Where? Mm. Yeah. Right. So do you think that's you done now with the booze? Um, yeah, yeah I, think it's, I think it's me done, but I, 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 I think now I'm able to have a drink sociably. Yeah, yeah of course. Before, Look, if I, I can have I, a drink I would, socially, I'd do it, but yeah, I can't. Yeah. I get out of hand, there's consequences, and the juice ain't worth the squeeze. You know Absolutely, what I mean? So yeah. I stay off it. Yeah. yeah. You've definitely been to meetings. 100%. <laughs> You've definitely been to meetings. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is meetings. I go all the time. I'll be in one tonight. It's real, yeah. Yeah, I'll be in one tonight, mate. It's, it's real. Yeah. Well do, done. Do you think, like, uh, you know, like now, you're someone that is left like the criminal underworld behind. You talk about it a lot. I often think that, you know, in 20 years' time, do you reckon we're still going to have those people that used to live that life and people still want to hear about? Because you said that, that sort of underworld, it has changed a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. From slightly, yeah, yeah. from it's your day to completely. what it is now, and and I think they're um, they're looking for the romance of it because now crime is shitty, nasty, spiteful, mm. or yeah, just in general, it's just no loyalty. Well, well but was it whatever. not always like that? It's just not as mm, not really. I don't think so. No, no, I don't forget that England had just come out of a war mm. when yeah. the Craig Jones things were about. So the whole thing was loose lips sink ships, yeah. walls have ears. You know, one spy is more dangerous than a thousand men. And, you know, you had, you had army morals in your little gang of villains. You had army morals. Like the great train robbery, they had 18 people on one job. That's, oh, that's army yeah. um, training. Mentality, and, yeah. And taking them away for a month to get them fit before they carried the You know, that's army mentality. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and it was, done it the was respectful. And in the army, you had shiny shoes, you're fucking trousers were pressed sharp and you had short hair and short back and sides and that's how it was and you were, you loved your mum and mm. and it was almost it was very much like that and after, if you smacked someone in the mouth and he fell on the floor you weren't allowed to kick him let alone jerk him up mm. well, eight of you you mm. know if you hit someone and they fell on the floor they go you, that's it you won't well done. No, well no you wait till he got up you couldn't yeah mm. it was sort of like an unwritten rule i'm telling the gods on the truth yeah. i was your dad that, you know, you bang someone, they go, you kicked him and he was on the floor, really? Yeah. Yeah. They, they would believe it. Mm. It's a different, completely different. Yeah, completely uh, different. How do, you, how do you compare that? And that's why I almost feel like people that, that live that life now, yeah, it's almost, it's almost too bit savage to, to be entertaining. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah you, can't, you can't. There is, there, you know, there's no, there's no, um, class in it no there's you no was, class you was, in it you was a classy gangster would you say well I'd like I, don't, I, never, I'm, I never ever thought I was a gangster I was just a bloke putting a load of geezers to work mm. and got and got the glory or the, or the, the what's it name of, of being in charge of them I'm not saying I was a gangster I, I, I'm not saying no. that he was the conductor yeah yeah I'm, 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 it's all the damn after the country work for me can kick fuck out of me yeah but it worked for me but I didn't, mm. I've never said that I've never gone yeah. I'm the best shot, I'm the toughest, I've robbed the trains, I've fucking mm. prize fighting, I've never... What was your main thing, Dave, if you was running the doors in like London clubs and that, is that right? That was really it, yeah, debt collecting. Debt collecting? Debt collecting, because I had all that muscle around me to do fuck all with. Yeah. yeah. Right, debt collecting and running the doors. That was really it. And through running the doors, you end up having a, a lot of rows. You know, a doorman in my day, like, 
if you lost a fight as a doorman, the governor sat you and fucking got a power fighter. Mm. Right? End of. That's what it was different then. Now you, they've got your name, address, blood group, photograph, and if you even hit someone back as a doorman, the owner has to take you down the police station and hand you in. Oh, so how really? the fuck are you going to get any good at fighting if you're not allowed to do it? Mm. Well, that's why you won't you get another, punch, you another Lenny McLean. Yeah. Yeah. You'll never get another Lenny McLean because he had four or five fights a night, five nights a week, for 25 years. Yeah. How are you <laughs> supposed to get good at something that you're not allowed to do? Boxing yeah, yeah. Monster, or fighting. You know what I mean? He had... You know, you couldn't not, not play snooker for six months and then come back and you're the same. Yeah, Or not course. play football. Or, and fighting's the same. Mm. If you ain't had a fight for six months, you ain't as good as someone that does fight every day. Mm. And Lenny McLean fought every day. Loved it, did he? Fucking hell, we wanked over it. He smacked him in the mouth, he'd come. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How the fuck you beat that? Yeah. Oh, Legend. lovely. You'd go, bang, you go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> fuck. That was his thing. Oh, lovely. <laughs> right, wow. Love getting smacked in the mouth. Yeah, that ain't. He used mate. to love getting smacked. Well, no, you, smacked no, no. Him. If you dared, fuck it, or you could reach that high. But that is his mentality. That would be him. You know, yeah. you, ain't, you, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna beat him. I'm telling you. Mm. Right? But if he got a smack in the mouth, he would go, "Oh, lovely." <laughs> right? Fuck me, please. Oh, mate, imagine punching please. someone. I don't and they imagine say that. it. I've yeah, seen it. I've yeah. seen yeah, it. Yeah, no, that would that would fucking Did he ever lose the tear up? I know if he's any right now. Nah. He, you know, obviously he's been shot and all, so he's beatable, I suppose. You know, yeah, he's been, he got to shoot him. Yeah. yeah. You got to shoot I've him. never seen yeah. anyone in, in, in a club doorway, which was his <coughs> domain, he's mm. a doorman, yeah. And don't forget, Lenny McLean's not a villain, he's a fucking good fighter. Mm. Roy Shaw is, is a villain that can also have a fight. But Lenny really, McLean is just famous for being a good, a good mm, fighter. Good and a, fighter. Yeah, he's not a not gangster. He never claimed to be a gangster. He's just a very, very, very tasty cunt. Mm. Right? And he was a very tasty bastard at when he was six, at 16 stone. Mm. And as he got older, he wanted a little bit more whatever it is, and he got on the juice. So, and then he, so, he? so he was a good fighter at 16 stone, and by the time he's 21 stone, you're fucking in trouble. He's a fucking good fighter at 21 yeah, yeah. stone. Big boy. Right? You know, just because you've got big doesn't necessarily mean you're a good fighter. A lot of people could do the, the gym and all that and then end up looking like they're a tasty bastard, but it doesn't necessarily yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, make you one. You but then he was him. one before he'd done all that. He was a tasty bastard anyway. Yeah, yeah, and then, then, cunt as well, yeah. Then turned into a monster. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, that is typical of a lot of blokes today. They get on the juice, you know, yeah. they get the Range Rover. They get the, I don't know, That's they sort of want to portray to be that way, don't they? Yeah. Rather than being the real deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But say you, um, obviously you're a debt collector. Say you, say I owed you 10 grand, Dave. Yeah. I'll what, work for you. He works, he's your sidekick, yeah, yeah. right? Rent I car. owe you t 10 grand, you've just seen me. What, what, what are you gonna, how are you gonna stick it on me? Well, in the olden, before, just, it was, it was quite easy. Once I found out where you lived, I went straight through your fucking door, three, four handed, and cops hold you, and took 10 grand, right? Dragged you by the fucking face down to the bank to get it out or whatever. So and you're that, not giving me a chance to just explain myself. No, 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 no. I ain't come around there to talk to you. Give me ten grand. You point to a drawer, or I'll just keep punching you daily until you pay me. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right now it's different. You know we're a bit. Now I've done the craze for his funeral, and everyone knows who Dave Courtney is. I can't do that no more. Because mm. as soon as I kick a door down, they go, "It was Dave Courtney." I know him. I seen him on telly. I can't get out of my car and punch a geezer behind because they all go in the street. It was Dave Courtney, I know him, I see him. So it's fuck me. The mm. day I got famous, the day I done the Great Twin funeral, the next morning, and like, heir to the throne. What? Oh, is, that what is that what he said in the paper? <laughs> celebrity gangster, I'm going, no, I don't want to be at the top of that tree. Mm. So I quickly then wrote a book to just as publicly go, look, stop the ride, I want to get off. That's the name of my book. Mm. I didn't write a book till, like, till they started calling me a gangster. Mm. And I just went, look, I'm not. Stop the ride. Look. Mm. Yeah? That's how it started for me, that whole yeah. fucking thing. The day they publicised me as a gangster, I could no longer do fuck all wrong ever to anyone because everyone knew I was. Yeah. So I'm, that's me finished, isn't it? Was there, was there any ag at that funeral? No. No. Phew. There wouldn't be, would there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, you'd have to be quite brave, wouldn't you? I was down there with, with what I would consider as a 
the SAS of the underworld. I was with the uh, number one, yeah, the one yeah, yeah. There's three quarters Special of a million forces. people. There's three quarters of a million people. Mm. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of people in it. I had yeah. to feel at the funeral turned out for it. Yeah, three quarters of a million, yeah. Fucking hell. A you know, and when you're doing the security for it, you got to work out who do you let in. The, who do you let in the church? You're only holds 250, mm. right? Who do you not? Who do you let in? Come in and kiss Ronnie on the head in the funeral parlour. Who do you say no to? Who do you let stand around the hole at the at the cemetery? And who has to stand outside because there's no room? Mm. You know, you got to know all of that. Because if you get it wrong, if you say no to him, and you, you know, you can't let in. It, it was tricky. You know what I mean? It was. It was. Um, yeah. Tricky, yeah. The, it, it, it worked all right. It propelled me into a, a false sense of gang boss fame. Yeah. Yeah. And did you like, you, you said you didn't like that title. Listen, I wrote a book and went, Stop the Ride, I Want to Get Off. That's what it's called. The next book, Raving Luna said, It's not my man of the firm, the artist doorman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm not on. No. Running the streets. It's none of that. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> What's that ring say? It says the firm. The firm. Yeah. Jokes. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's a knuckle duster. Yeah, I've just, I got nicked for a knuckle duster the other week. Did you? Oh, did you? Well, I, what, what I just found out, to, much to my friend's disgust, is um, just owning one in your house in the drawer, you, um, you can get a year. Really? Is that right? Yeah, I, I, obviously carrying it out on road, you, you, you can get more. But you can have a year just having it hanging up on your wall in your house, like I had for 45 years. Mm. I've had these on the wall and guns and swords and fucking suits of armor and all that. And there was a knuckle duster thing, which was my sort of symbol. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And um, they changed the law that if you've got one in your house, and they know I've got one in my house because every documentary you've seen it's there, yeah, 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 it's there. So they just come around and. Moved all the other ornaments and went, gotcha, Courtney. For just possession. Moved the swords and the guns out of the way. Yeah, to yeah, right, right, right. Duster, and nick me for the sense. dusters on the wall that have been there for. And I can't go not guilty for possession because they're there. Mm. And I've videoed myself and I'm like, well, how many other people have you done that to, you nasty bastard? No one. Yeah. They've just mm. come in and done but me. What so about the, why are they not taking the guns? Well, they're not, they're not, act, they're not real guns at they're all. Not they're not real guns. DX. Right, okay. Yeah. So, and then, the, but what about the knives though? Like, well, they're swords, swords they, and that. They, they, they took a couple of Chinese throwing things off the wall. Yeah, they yeah, nicked the me stars. for them as well. And so, they've nicked a pair of us, me and my pal. Yeah. So he's had to go guilty, and so I could go, there's nothing to do with me. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. I had to go, never seen him before, and he went near mine. I, he owns a film props company, my pal. Right. And we, all my house is full of all the film props. Mm. You know what I mean? The guns of swords and all the yeah, yeah. shit. They, they film things for all the music videos and all that that they do. And so um, he had to go guilty in that. And he got to um, find them things. So where it used to be my emblem, I can't even, you know, every photo I've got all my life with people, they all want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> every yeah. single picture I've got. With a knuckle duster. Like that, These are their cheeky buggers, though, ain't, ain't they, old Bill? Because you know that you know when when the weekend comes, you'll see him down the sex dungeon. Yeah. Listen, you. More, you don't know how right you are, sir. You have mm. no idea. <laughs> no, you're, you're absolutely hundred percent right. Yeah. So there you go. Um, but Dave, thank you so much for coming on, mate. We've had, we'd love to have no, you on. No, it's cool here. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, thank you so much, mate. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, yeah it's boys. been a it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, um, mate. We'll um, we'll have a chat about this party and see if our missus has let us get yeah. down. No, don't worry about it. We ain't asking permission, mate. We're just going. <laughs> nah. I'll write you a note. Yeah, I'll yeah. You write Dave Courtney OBE. Permission you slip. can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dave, for joining us, mate. Oh, man, and cool, uh, thanks, White Boy, uh, Rumpus One, number one podcaster for uh, on co-host duties once again. Um, you know what to do by now, ladies and gents. If you're on Spotify, or Apple Podcast, mate, go make sure to go rate us uh, five stars on there, or just give us an honest review. But we think we give you a five star service. And then on the YouTube, White Boy, what they got to do? Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, leave us a comment. Let's get a bit of Q&A going for the next episode. And um, hit the bell icon if you never want to miss an episode. Lovely stuff. Cheers, Dave. My pleasure. Thanks, mate. We'll see you all next week.